long time no see guys. In this episode, we're going to be creating a cinematic video from scratch. I'm basically going to walk you guys through my typical thought process and what it's like making a video from start to finish. I'll go over how I come up with ideas, including how I choose vehicles, location scouting, choosing what kind of music to use, and coming up with unique ideas. <laughs> After watching this video, you should have a general idea of what mindset to have when creating videos, as well as what tools and camera settings you'd need to get the best results. So get your notebooks ready, kids. Welcome to episode 6 of Car Cinematics. All of the footage shot in today's video will also be available for download if you guys want to participate in my second editing contest. Stay tuned until the end of the video for all the info and contest rules. Also, new Spamsubi merch is available at Spamsubi.com if you want to rock some cool apparel while you're on the job like me. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to use a camera capable of at least 60 frames per second. I say 60 frames per second because for the beauty shots of the car, you definitely want the flexibility to slow down your footage. When the car is parked, I usually shoot at 60 and then whenever the car is moving, I'll shoot at 24 frames per second. Next up is obviously a gimbal. I'm using my trusty Ronin M that I've had since 2014. How this thing is alive, I have no idea, I basically beat the shit out of it every day. Another must have for filmmaking is an external monitor. External monitors offer many benefits including a larger viewing screen obviously and video centric tools that will aid you in nailing your focus or exposure such as zebra, waveform, and false color just to name a few. You can also record higher bitrate video through an external monitor all while recording it into a much more manageable file format such as ProRes. This will make editing much easier as these codecs are more optimized for editing software such as Premiere Pro which is what I use. Next tool in line are ND filters. If you want that super cinematic look, I advise using lenses with low aperture or f-stop. I always shoot with my aperture wide open so that my backgrounds are blurry. When your subject is tack sharp but your background is blurry, this creates a buttery smooth look. However, shooting wide open means you're introducing a lot more light into your camera sensor. To counter this, use ND filters so that your image is not overexposed. Screw on lens filters work, or in my case, I'm using the built-in ND filter system on the Canon C70 so I can change ND at the click of a button. I also like to shoot in 10-bit log on my cameras. There's more data being retained in the colors, shadows, and highlights when you shoot in log. It requires more work when color grading, but the benefits you receive are 100% worth it. Now that you know the basics and essential tools, let's move on to creating. For this video, I've chosen to use my buddy Caleb's Supra. His car has a bunch of aero parts and a very unique color scheme that I think will pop on video. We're shooting at this empty parking structure that's well lit and very open so it doesn't distract from our subject. What's cool about this location is during noontime, the sun casts these linear shadows that looks really cool on video. Always pick a location that won't have any distracting background pollution such as trash cans, people, or other vehicles. I can't really teach the technicality of using a gimbal, so I'm just going to show you some of my favorite camera movements that are all different from each other and cover a variety of focal ranges and speeds. Before I move on, I want to disclose that I'm not responsible for any injury or destruction of equipment if you attempt to recreate what I'm about to do. When shooting rollers, I switch over to my smaller camera, the R5. We're using a Toyota 4Runner, which in my opinion is one of the best vehicles to use since it has a roll down window in the rear. When coordinating high speed rollers, always use walkie talkies so you can give directions to your camera driver and your picture car driver. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Again, I am not responsible, nor am I encouraging you to follow my steps. This is just how I do it. Now that we have rollers, we need to record some high quality audio to go with the footage. I'm using a Rode lav mic, plus a Rode Wireless Go, plus Tascam DR07 recorder. First, I turn on both the Rode Wireless Go receiver and transmitter. The lav mic gets plugged into the transmitter and then taped onto the vehicle, pointed as directly to the source of audio, avoiding any possible wind. If placing outside of the vehicle, I use a dead cat or windscreen. If I'm recording exhaust, I usually toss the transmitter into the trunk, if I'm recording engine based sounds, I can usually route the transmitter into the cabin through the window. 
Next, the receiver gets plugged into the Tascam recorder. Cars are loud, so set the decibel gain on the Wireless Go receiver to the lowest setting. Then you can further adjust the audio levels from the Tascam recorder. Now you're pretty much ready to record high quality audio files into the recorder. Finally, to add a little extra spice and uniqueness to my video, I went ahead and filmed some extra things like the speedometer and some other stuff. Okay, that pretty much wraps up today's tutorial. I'm going to be dropping the full cinematic of Caleb's Supra next week, so stay tuned. I know I didn't go over editing, but you can go check out episode 3 of my tutorial playlist as I covered editing on Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey guys, so I'm really curious what you guys would do with my footage. So I've actually included a folder link below in the description with all the super footage so you can practice editing. If you wanna be a part of the editing contest, please submit your video before the deadline and we will be doing a reaction and review of the top 10 submissions. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for weekly content. Don't forget to check out my store at spamsubi.com for new merch. I would greatly appreciate the support as it really helps me keep making content like this for all of you guys. Oh, good. <laughs>